Um, Victoria Bitter is just a nice bitter beer and I like it. I enjoy it. Okay, um, anyway. Sorry to bore you with this stream, but this is just going to be an uploaded uh, video. And on this video in particular, we're talking about the Asheris build and why people... I don't know why it's such a big secret, why people don't want people to know about this, yada yada yada. I'm pretty sure no one's ever posted a video or any link of any sort to describe anything to do with this build. Because it is not an easy thing to do, it does require about four hours of dedication and patience. And a lot of uh, bounty materials, which is why most people can't actually build a proper Asherah's build. So, on this video, let me just have another sip of beer. Right. So, the Asherah's build, right? Obviously, it's got three pieces. And we'll just start with... You're, you're a ZDH or a ZBub. Either either, it doesn't matter. Uh, for survivability, doing 150 grad rifts, you require to have augments of intelligence in all of your items for survivability, since you'll be losing esoteric. You can use esoteric, it depends uh, what kind of group you are playing with, um, but it's not needed to survive 150s if you're on my paragon and you spread out your paragon into vitality and dexterity. And let's make this uh, a really, not rushed, but semi-rushed. So you, once I do the link the YouTube video, you can pause and rewind, etc. There'll be a link once it's uploaded. I'll post it on my stream. Everyone's welcome to share it, post it, save it, do it as you please. This is probably the first guide to having an insurance build. Uh, you can set it up just like any normal ZDH. The only difference is you will be a lot more squishy. Uh, and you require the three pieces of a sheriff's. So without further ado and getting too much boring conversation into this, I will just show you basically what is required. So obviously in every slot I have intelligence, uh, caldicence of despair put into every item that is ancient for survivability which gives us a very juicy, nice amount of resistances, which is very needed for survivability using this build. The reason I'm wearing a pain enhancer right now and not an esoteric is because I was running with some witch doctor friends earlier and uh, they just need bleed and it's uh, just something that procs when you play with that kind of group. But if I wasn't playing with them, I would re-roll my primal to vitality uh, and I could, you know, replace the pain enhancer with an esoteric, which is not even needed because we're, we're not squishy. We're, we're 7,000 paragon. We're really s strong and blah, 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 blah. When, when you get to, you know, a decent high paragon, 3,000 plus, you want to start pumping into dexterity for more armor and survivability. I'm sitting on 3.5 mil uh, life, and yeah, I'm I'm pretty pretty tanky. Got quite a bit of armor, so we're we're pretty strong in both aspects. Uh, so as I was saying, every every item you own requires intelligence. Uh, I've missed one there because it's not really a big deal. It's a a shitty item, and yeah. I don't need it, um, but if you're squishy, the more caldicens you put in your items, the better. 
So we could have used the uh, Ring of Zodiac instead of using the Royal Ring of Grandeur. Uh, it would have been a better uh, slot in item, but I was in a rush when I built this at the time, and hence why I am using this. So this is a very start. Everyone can make a normal ZDH. The only difference right now is basically the Asheras. So I'm using the three-piece Asheras. The Ring of Royal Grandeur is giving us the fourth piece. And you've basically got uh, a bit of a God's build as well. Obviously for your momentum and strafing projectiles, etc. For the set piece. So that when you use Entangling Shot, they get entangled. Yada, yada, yada. <sighs> this is... Hi, Jen. Uh, just in the middle of a, uh, a YouTube video for YouTube. Um, won't be too long, hopefully. I'm, I'll be. I'll talk to you soon. <laughs> no problems. All right. Uh, as I was saying, you want uh, intelligence in every slot possible when you Caldasen your items. Uh, the rolls on my items, they're not particularly important. You just want to be quite uh, tanky so you survive because you're going to be extra squishy using an Asherah's build. You can, like I said, you can switch the Ring of Royal Grandeur for the Obsidian. It doesn't matter. Uh, best in slot would be the Obsidian Ring over the Royal Ring of Grandeur. Uh, as for everything else, you're just basically going for tanky toughness. So you're rolling armor and armor and resistances, etc. Uh, do not look at the roll on that. That's for a witch doctor meta. Uh, you can roll vitality instead of bleed. That's only if you're running with witch doctors. And the pain enhancer, you only need an esoteric. Moving along now. The, now to the beginning of the build, which is the hardest part. When you go to a follower, your follower requires 25,000 in main stat. So this follower is obviously dexterity. Uh, he's the scoundrel, he's dexterity. He requires 25k minimum. Uh, not minimum, but that is what is required minimum actually so 25k main stat uh, the reason that we are using a wind force on this follower is for the chance to knock back on a hit uh, that's not the best role in the world in the world it's not even an ancient item or a primal it doesn't matter what the only thing that really matters is having the increased attack speed and the chance to knock back on hit for the follower so that he can proc uh, more damage for the DPSs in the game. So this is the reason behind using the wind force on the scoundrel. Uh, every uh, follower, it is best in slot to use the ice climbers so they gain immunity to being free frozen and immobilizing attacks. Um, as you can see, uh, my follower is also uh, augmented enough to get the 25k main stat. Um, this follower also doesn't have the token or that item where he cannot die. This is the only follower that wears the uh, cooldown of skills by 50% because he's the most important one. I will not go into explaining to great detail, otherwise this vi video will take very long time. Uh, he's also wearing the Asherah's build with a Ring of Royal Grandeur. Every follower requires an 85% Oculus ring for the full potential of the build and an esoteric is required level 100 in the scoundrel so that he doesn't die because of that item 
you want 30% strong arms and you want to reroll your secondary to chance to knock back on hit because every time these guys knock something back on hit they're proccing and giving you more damage. We also use the Blackthorns amulet, armor, belt and then the Ring of Royal Grandeur once again for an extra bonus to the set which makes him immune to desecration, molten plague, you monsters, ground effects and basically everything. You can also use the Og Hilt's power which also reduces the damage he gets taken and he also can do more damage. That is basically our first um, follower and as you notice he has a mixture of intelligent intelligence sorry I've been drinking but he has a mixture of intelligence gems and we didn't put anything in that slot actually yeah and vitality because he wants you want him to survive you don't want him to die they actually proc and spawn quite often and when they do the damage boost if you are on a wizard a dps is quite su substantial and very noticeable it's amazing it really is these are the skills that you would use on the scoundrel you can use different skills if you prefer but these are what i was told to use and i listen to my sources they're quite uh quite good quick view of his details page he is one kick ass strong follower he has almost four million life he has a shitload of everything he's even got some pretty damn not bad resistances he's pretty kick ass uh, as for the the templar this is a bit different the build it is not as important to follow this one step by step this one can use the relic of not dying so this one doesn't have to be fully augmented or anything like that you just need your 25k strength on the templar he's also wearing a bunch of different items but of course he's using the strong arms and the borns i don't know why these are the skills he uses the rest is not as important but of course 85 percent oculus ring and a 30 percent strong arms preferred in slot is flavor of time which is questionable so also using these sages not a very big deal because the scoundrel he was the most important and he has to survive because he can die moving along to the last one which is the enchantress so we have to hire a different one so that I can show you then there's the enchantress she uses all the right skills and the Avarion Spear of Lycander for a chance to spawn a uh, random shrine effect this may not be or may be the best in slot it doesn't matter but that is what I run with as I was told once again the ice climbers ring of royal grandeur of course canes doesn't even have an uh, a gem or anything in there wasn't needed we've achieved over 25k main stat for the intelligence once again she cannot die so it doesn't matter if she's not augmented or calderson as you would like 
these items are switchable you can switch them around with different things maybe you find a better build or something that works for you each to their own I'm just showing you doing a short video I was given permission and yeah just to throw the spanner in the works and be the bad guy I'm the bad guy apparently I'm just sick of people not having this build and trying to explain to them so from now on in future reference I can just link them this video and yes I am making a guide I got permission and I think everyone should know because it would just make life easy for everyone instead of having a bunch of randoms with standard ZDHs and Zbubs. <sighs> Moving along now, once again, 85% Oculus Ring, Strong Arms, 30%. To get these perfect rolls is quite costly on uh, bounty materials. This is why a lot of people will not be able to make these builds, because they will not have the bounty materials. To properly get a ZDH or a Zbub set up with, you know, some people don't aren't dedicated enough to fully augment a follower for it to survive, such as the uh, Scoundrel, which is the heaviest requirement of the whole lot. But in a very short sense, that is the video. Feel free to rewind, pause, scroll, do as you like and happy hunting it takes if you have all the materials and uh, a bit of patience somewhere between two to four hours to build it the things that take the longest are the strong arms i would recommend if you play our new season keeping any of them that you find same as the oculus rings you want 85 percent and 30 percent they are a bastard to re-roll with materials if you're in a rush. And I will just show you the scoundrel one more time. Because the scoundrel is the hardest one. Due to the token. He must use that token. It doesn't matter which uh, follower you use, they will all spawn and help you in combat. Oh. And you will get extra oculus rings, they, you will get extra critical hits and damage, etc, etc. If you're about to die, they will heal you, you will survive. They are very good for group play and pushing. And there you have it. That's the video. Happy hunting. That is a, a Shearer's ZDH. The Zbub is the exact same, but it's just a Zbub with different items. I don't have one, and I'm not wasting my time. If you were to want to make a Zbub and then switch to a ZDH, you would have to transfer all of these items into your inventory for each character and then go onto your Zbub, for example, and put them on your Zbub's followers. It is not fun. If you have enough time and you make two and you never have to switch again, you're my hero. I don't have that patience. Okay, thanks, happy hunting. I'm not going to argue with you, dude. I, uh, I got permission to make that video. And, yeah. 2.49. That's all i got to remember. I just, uh, I just followed a, um, 
a build that was recommended to me and no one's put a video out there so basically if you want to put out a video and make it a hundred percent to the T go for gold bro if not at least there's something everyone can follow and they can have fun anyway because there's a pain in the ass if you don't start a season you're not going to get one straight away